How long does the average homeowner live in their current home, and how much have they paid down their mortgage over that time period? Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and stay with me because I'm actually gonna to go to my computer and show you exactly how you can figure out how much you're paying down your mortgage to this point and into the future, You looking at what is called an amortization schedule. But according to the National Association of Realtors, the average homeowner stays in their home for eight years. In fact, only 36% of people stay in their home from one to five years. But let's just imagine for a second, you've been in your home for eight years and you're watching this video thinking, well, I've been in there for five, 10, 15, whatever it is, but just imagine eight years. I'm gonna take you to my screen. I'm gonna show you over an eight year period, how much have you paid down your mortgage? So let's just imagine for a second that you have a $400,000 mortgage because the average sales price in Wenatchee is 500,000. So you're, if you put 20% down, you got $400,000 mortgage. So check this out. So in the amortization schedule calculator that you can find online, I've entered in their $400,000 mortgage, a 30-year mortgage. Now, some people have a 15-year mortgage, so you'd wanna change that, and that affects your amortization schedule quite a bit, and then it affects how much you pay down your principal, quite a bit. But let's just say it's 30 years. Interest rate really doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you now, at a $400,000 mortgage, how much you've paid down your home in eight years. Your, the very first payment you made right, on a $400,000 mortgage, you made $2,000 payment, 500 of that went towards your principal. And that's the beauty about home ownership is that as you're owning the home, you're paying your mortgage down, right? That's why it's better than renting. And so your balance went down $526. But as you own the home, after a year, you're making, you're making little gains. After two years, a little bit more gains. So 2025, you've been in your home three years, you've paid down your home $21,000. So three years, $21,000. Four years, you've paid down your home $28,000. Five years, you've paid down your home $36,000. So let's skip ahead. Five, six, seven, eight. After eight years in your house, you've paid down your home $52,000. So eight years in your home, you've paid down your home $52,000. Now, just stick with me because that's not how much equity you have in your home. You've earned in your savings account $52,000. But just last year alone, home prices went up 22%. In one year alone, that's $84,000. So $52,000 plus $84,000 just in the last year. Chances are your home's gone up 60, 80, 100% since you bought it eight years ago. So if you wanna know what, how much equity you really have in your house, like truly have in your house, you can go to nickmcclainrealestate.com and do a home valuation to find out what your home's worth. You can give us a call. We're gonna give you exactly what it's worth. Also, we're gonna calculate based on how much you owe on your home, how, what's the remaining principal, how much equity you truly have in your home. And I think you're gonna be shocked to find out that you're gonna have 200, 300, 400. We've had clients have over a million dollars in equity in your home. Give us a call, Google nickmcclainrealestate.com or call us at 255-8070.